In this video, I'm going to give you guys 10 settings that you should have changed in your Valorant settings to improve your overall quality of life while playing and to give you some small advantages over your opponents when playing a ranked Valorant game. The first one is just to make sure that you have blood on. I know a lot of people will maybe start off the game by switching all these settings, turning off blood because it might affect their graphics or their FPS. But I assure you that having blood on in Valorant is very important. And this is because if someone is hiding behind a box or a wall and you end up headshotting them, you'll see the blood splatter out from behind the box or behind the wall. And this will let you know that you dinked that person behind the wall and you can relay that information to your teammates to let them know that they're very weak. Or you can continue spraying the wall or the box and hopefully get a kill through it. The next thing I'd recommend changing is to make sure that your corpses are off. This way, especially if you're a sage main, it makes it 10 times easier to res someone because you can just go right up to that circle on the ground where your teammate died and be able to easily res them instead of waving your hands all over the place on their corpse trying to find exactly where you need to click to actually res them. My favorite part about the setting though is just that it cleans up the entire map and you're not confused by dead bodies that are on the ground. I don't even play Sage and I have this off for that specific reason. The next thing you should try to change if you haven't already is your enemy highlight color. This is technically just a colorblind setting, but you can change your enemy highlight color between red, yellow, and purple. And in my opinion, yellow is the easiest color to see. So that's what I was rocking for a while, but I actually recently switched mine to purple just to contrast with my green crosshair a little bit better than my yellow was contrasting with my previous cyan colored crosshair. But regardless, switching this to whatever color you prefer will catch your eye a little bit more when someone appears in your peripheral vision or behind a wall. It just makes what you're shooting at pop out a lot more than if you were on the default red color, in my opinion. And I would definitely suggest changing it to see if you start hitting your shots a little bit better or seeing your enemies a little bit better as well. Next, I would recommend switching up your first person handedness according to your dominant eye. In order to save some time for this video, I'll just pop a card up in the top right of the screen if you want to see what I'm talking about with your eye dominance and how it can affect your aim. But personally, for me, I like my first person handedness to be on the left side of my screen because it frees up space on the right side of my screen since I'm right eye dominant. And because of that, I can aim a lot better and focus on shooting heads a lot cleaner. This next thing you should change might not be a common thing that you'll see, and it's just to make sure that you have your map centering off. And in my opinion, you can have the most map awareness and game sense when you can see the entire map. This allows you to see what your teammates are seeing who might be on the other side of the map. And if they're not communicating with you, just being able to look up at your map and see what they're seeing in a specific part of the map can help you make better decisions on where you're going to be playing during that specific round. This next thing that you should change is definitely a more beginner setting to have on, and it's just to make sure that you're not cycling between your weapons with your scroll wheel. If you're new at FPS games, this might be a default thing that you just leave on because it seems easier to just switch between your guns like that, but it's actually the least reliable thing that you can have set. If you're in a high intensity moment and you're trying to switch between guns and you're flicking your mouse wheel to try to get the exact one you want, it's the least reliable thing that you can have set. I would recommend, which is what I do, I have my primary set to one on my keyboard, my secondary set on two, and my knife on three. That way I can just quickly switch to the gun I need based on muscle memory. And I know for a fact that when I want to switch to my secondary, I can just quickly hit two instead of flicking down my scroll wheel, hoping that I land on my secondary. Next setting that you should try turning on is the raw input buffer. This setting just makes your mouse movements so much smoother since it communicates your mouse inputs directly with Valorant versus just communicating directly with Windows. This will therefore make your mouse smoother and decrease input delay. One setting that I highly, highly suggest that you turn on if you have not already is HRTF. And this is gonna be located in your audio settings if you guys have never seen this setting before. And this just makes a more realistic 3D soundscape within Valorant. It's gonna sound really weird when you turn it on at first if you have not had it on, but trust me, once you get used to this, you'll be able to pinpoint exactly where your enemies are a lot easier, whether they're behind you, or 45 degrees to the right behind you, or behind a wall behind you, or behind a wall next to you. It just makes the sound and the footsteps and the muffling and everything in between so much more realistic and you'll be able to pinpoint exactly where people are and give more accurate callouts. And most importantly, be more confident when you're swinging someone that you know who is behind a wall. My second to last setting that you should make sure you have changed or turned on is Nvidia Low Latency. Unfortunately, if you have an AMD card, I don't think this is gonna be on in your Valorant settings, but this is gonna boost your FPS a little bit if you do have an NVIDIA card. From the information that I've gathered, it's going to run best if you just switch it to on if you have an RTX card, and it's going to run best if you have a GTX card if you have it set to on plus boost. 
this will boost your fps a little bit and no one can complain about that and my final setting that you guys should have changed or try out if you have not already is just to try changing your res a lot of people will stick with the native res in valorant for a long time and whether your reasoning is for the most clear experience that you can have or the best fps that you can have i would definitely try changing it up to just see how it affects your gameplay i was rocking the native 1920 by 1080 on valorant for the longest time until just a few months ago when I switched to a little bit of a stretch res, which is 1680 by 1050. Now I've found that this helps me out a lot as it's just a light stretch and nothing crazy. It looks good on your stream, looks good in your videos. And I think the best part about it is if you do use a dot crosshair, it stretches it just to the perfect amount where it just seems easier to focus on it and easier to place it on people's heads. I don't really know if that's just me, but if you guys do end up trying it out, let me know if you get the same feeling. So that's going to do it for all the settings that you should have changed or try changing within Valorant. Let me know if there's any settings that you have changed in your Valorant settings that has improved your experience or given you a little bit of a competitive advantage over your opponents and just as a small disclaimer i just want you guys to know that changing all these settings is not going to guarantee that you're going to be ranking up or just immediately hitting radiant these are just small settings that can change your quality of life when playing valorant in your ranked games and just to give you a slight advantage over people that do not have these settings changed all in all as i say in most of my informative videos valorant is like a 90 percent mental game and a 10 percent mechanics game and if you guys really want to improve as players in valorant you just got to keep sticking with it to try to improve keep learning from your mistakes watching videos and learning from mentors or people that are higher ranked than you or have been playing for a little bit longer than you so these settings will definitely help but just mainly focus on improving as a player and just being the best version of yourself that you can be within your valorant games but speaking of that if you guys do want some tips on how to play valorant a little bit better i actually just made a coaching profile on metify the link is down in the description below if you guys do want to book a coaching session with me i can do vod reviews or do live coaching with you guys basically what i'll do is just watch you guys play valorant whether it's live or on a vod review and i'll give you tips on what you can improve that and what you're doing right so that you know that you can keep doing those things and if there's some big mistakes that i see i will let you know that as well in hopes that you can change those in your future games and start ranking up so that is where i'm going to end the video today guys thank you so much for watching this one once again i do hope these tips help out make sure to let me know in the comments below for all of us watching this video if there's any settings that we should be changing in our valorant settings as well if you guys want to watch me play valorant live i stream every monday through thursday over at twitch.tv slash iridium starting at 1 p.m eastern link is also in the description below and as always make sure to turn on all notifications here on my youtube channel hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if this did help you out i post videos every tuesday thursday Thursday and Saturday here and I hope to see you guys in the next one so with all that being said on that note talk to for now oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's a good watching for the bastard yeah I mean it's just I'll, I'll take care of it Bye.